Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Earth Apollo on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. Awareness Breathing Podcast, and I am glad you're here in 2021. Thank you for joining me in the first podcast for 2021. Yes, we are here. And you know what? This is a different year. So let's get started. Thank you, Web Talk Radio, for allowing me to have a platform to bring Transition Awareness Breathing Podcasts to you. And thank you, Mary Lou and Sam, my producers, for making Transition Awareness Breathing Podcasts available to you wherever you are at. So, well, here we are, and we're in a brand new year starting off fresh so have you noticed anything new you know what do we see every year after the big celebrations and after the big parties we start walking in the stores and what do we usually see we see a lot of exercise things. We see a lot of uh, aids to help us shed some of those pounds that we may have put on during the holidays. Have you noticed that trend? It's like a cycle, you know? During the fall, they start putting out all the winter holiday stuff and right after the New Year's we start seeing all of the um, health and fitness aids as I would like to refer to them. But let's take a look at and think about this. Why be on a yo-yo? It's predictable. They do the same thing. The marketers, the manufacturers, is every year. What if we didn't have to be on a yo-yo to maintain a certain um, state of mental wellness, physical wellness? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Life is just as it is. We've learned how to be flexible. We're learning how to breathe and relax and try to make the best of our everyday living. Aren't we? Isn't that something that most of us are trying to do, if not all of us? I don't know. I'm just wanting to say that's just a general statement. That's what one, most people are trying to, to go for. And yet, Sometimes we get back on an old cycle that we have brought in from the not only the previous year, but the year before that. This year, make a 
a change, a statement that that old way of doing, of eating, of seeing things in a point of view that's not as healthy. Let's make a change. It starts with a mindset, a positive mindset. Maybe we may not get things right the first time, and we may not get things right even the second time. But there's one thing that we will not do is we will not give up because we're going to try to get things better. And each time that we try to get things better, we're taking a step towards getting better. We may not be at the perfect or at the goal yet, but we're working towards it because we're not going to go back. We're not going to go back to negativity. We're not going to go back to destructive thinking, destructive eating. That was the past. This is a new beginning. Each day is a new beginning. But it seems when we enter a brand new year, 2021, for example, it starts us all off on a new mindset and it also helps us to take a big breath in breathe it out and say wow look at all the things that I have been through the previous year this year what are you going to work towards towards a positive towards a change I think most of us, myself included, have been affected by things that occurred in 2020. Things that made us look back and appreciate the very breath that we are breathing. We look back on 2020 and some of the experiences and some of the events has made us aware and educated about different things that we had no clue but now we know we know a lot more coming in to 2021 so that is so exciting it's exciting because it puts us in a frame of mind that we can do this year better. We can get involved in community projects, community support, community um, initiatives that makes the neighborhood better, your community better, the whatever your 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 social interest anything that makes it better maybe the first step is to look at ourselves what can I do better maybe I can read a book not just any old book but something that I have put off for a while you know and just pick up something and read something that's going to add to my pleasurable positive outlook that part helps develop our brain in so many positive ways me I am so happy I have found a you know, we all need a little help in different parts of our lives. And I I started a brand new way of eating. And so I have a health coach to coach me and help me go through a transition of eating like my body um, can better benefit from the fuel that I put into it 
You know, it's like, well, I don't mean it's not like, but if you have a car, and if the car requires premium gasoline, then the manufacturer is telling you that if you want your car to perform at its best, to put a high grade level of gasoline in your car. But let's say you're short on cash. And so, you know, you just put the regular in. And so the car will not perform as the manufacturer suggested. When I first started driving, one thing my father told me, point blank into my eyeballs, he said, if you have a car that runs on regular gas, never put diesel into it. You know, I didn't really know um, what that meant, but, you know, and I've never done it. But as an analogy, if we're putting a fuel in our body and our body is not functioning at its best, maybe we should kind of take a look at the kind of fuel we're putting in our bodies. And that's what I decided to do. I'm taking a look and looking at the fuel I'm putting in my body mindfully of course yes and I feel so much better you know I feel like I'm eating not only healthier but I'm eating like an adult whatever that means um, over the years if you have children I'm just going to share my personal thing is you know I felt like I didn't want to waste food so I would eat my children's leftovers um because I didn't want it to waste and so over the years their leftovers added pounds on me and so I had to learn how to to stop that and to change and um give them smaller portions and tell them if you want more come back and mommy is not the leftover person anymore and I think that has been the biggest change for me coming into this brand new year is to really treat myself as a and not only an important um, person, but if I was a car, I I need premium fuel. I mean, that's just an analogy. So, as we continue and we progress in this new year, and as you're kind of reflecting back of where you are and where you've been, and as we think about our loved ones, we have been so blessed to be able to have our health and most of us know someone that had succumbed to the virus or became ill to the virus and so keep them in memory Keep the positive memories. Think of them, love their memories, and take care of yourself. Because you now are the future. You're bringing future in to this new year. And we can make a difference in generations to come. We can use what we've learned and we can make a difference so as I enter my eating plan and as I make a reflection a self-reflection it's healthy to kind of look and see where do I want to what do I want to do how do I want to make things better if you want to journal it that's great if you want to want to if you want to talk about it that's even awesome but maybe just the start is just to think about what do you want to make better and add to that thought it's not 
impossible. If it's impossible, then let's make the goal a little bit more reachable. Start small. If that helps, because sometimes when we're reevaluating something, we we make our goals so big and so unreachable that we feel defeated and we get discouraged. Let's not do that. Let's make our goals reachable and put in a little cushion that sometimes we will make mistakes. Sometimes we will make a mistake and we're not going to punish ourselves and beat ourselves and allow other people to beat our our mental state of, of mind if we make a mistake. We say, I'm going to try to do it better next time. Oh, I'm learning from my mistake. We're going to look at ourselves with a positive growth mindset because we're going to move forward. If you're interested in tracking and seeing how I progress in my new eating lifestyle, join me on my Facebook page. It's in the link in the description. And there you'll find on my Facebook page not only information regarding transition awareness breathing, um, but also you'll find out more from my health coach and other people who are following the same lifestyle change. So if you're interested and you want more information, check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for joining me today in the new 2021 Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. Have a great day and a happy, positive new year. La 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 sure and pick up a copy of Eartha's new book, Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's not just an ordinary coloring book. It features 23 illustrations to stimulate thought, relaxation, and creativity for anyone between the ages of 4 and 94. Increase your positive self-talk energy. Unlock new creative paths. Transform your time once or twice a week to create beautiful art while strengthening confidence, building positive self-talk, and sensitize self-awareness. Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's available now at Amazon.com.